Saturday. America, my favorite day of the week. Always has been. Remember how much fun we had as kids? Oh, man, we played baseball, broom ball, stick ball, stoop ball, punch ball, kick the can, anything and everything. You know, we got married on Saturday. There's so many good things to do on Saturday. By the way, you know, I was born on a Saturday. <laughs> There's always something to do, America, on Saturday. Macman's log, 10.45 a.m. Still no sign of life. Good morning, Jordan. Oh, good morning. You want to see my eye snot? It's huge. Boy, it's 10.45 in the morning. You just been picking your eye snot? Ow. Boy, you nasty. Hey, baby girl, you still watching TV? Hey, it's baby girl, don't you want to go outside and play today? What the hell are you watching anyway? Uncle Bernie, I can't hear. Can you believe this, America? What's wrong with these doggone kids? Don't they know today is Saturday? Where's their drive, their lust for life? They've done absolutely nothing. Now I'm gonna ask you, America, how long can this go on? A person sleep can't catch nothing but a dream. Well, We have enough family meat. Get up! I know that's right. Put some clothes on, Smallville. Their lazy days are over. Baby girl, come on, let's go. Hey! Don't make no sense. Y'all lazy. Ain't no way I can sit around the house and do that. They kill. Look at this. You see this? This is outdoors. And look at that. That's the sky. What's that there? Grass. That's right. Kneel down and rub it. Rub it. Get back over there. <sighs> Smell this fresh air. Smell it! Yeah, it hurt your chest. You ain't used to it. That's right. That's right. Smell it. Look at the sun. Don't look right at the sun, boys. It's a figure of speech. With those Coke bottle glasses, man, it'll blow your head right off. So you kids got it too easy. You all been lazing around here on Saturday. Some things gonna change. Cause let me tell you something, you keep this kind of nonsense up, you're gonna be wearing 300 pounds. And baby girl, believe me, you won't be lovable at 300 pounds. But from now on, it's gonna change. Each and every one of you all gonna take in an activity on Saturday. That's right, you can look sour all you want. From now on, you all gonna learn how to seize the day and suck the marrow off the bones of life. Suck all my underwear. No, you can't do nothing. But dig the fresh air, nature. Nature! All right, listen up, family. I've got some things I want you all to look through. Baby girl, soccer. 
that's going to be for you. Every Saturday morning, you're going to be outside playing with girls and kids your size, doing something that you love. What do you think about that? Good. Am I going to wear a uniform? You sure do, sweetheart. Yes, you do. Jordan, you find something there you like? Yes, Dad. Give me that. Give, give me him. Junior Scouts, it's going to be for you. Scouts? What for? Because they take the jazz dance out of you and put a man inside you. Do you think that maybe you might be overdoing it? I mean, you know, parents are always overscheduling their kids. Sweetheart, why don't you build a suggestion box and put that in there? Let that be your activity, OK? I got this. That's what you see something that you like? No, these are kind of whack. If you don't pick something wacky upside your head, you either pick some out of here or you find yourself a job. I know one thing. Every Saturday morning, we're going to be up bright and early having fun. Can you dig it? This would be great for them, America. They're going to discover the joys of getting out of the house. Getting out of the house. America, I just thought of something. The more I give them to do on their own, the less I have to do with them. Even when I go to baby girl soccer, it's not like I'm playing or coaching. I'm just a fan. I get to lounge in the sun. Maybe I should become a Raider fan and start a fight with another band. Excuse me, America. I got to go practice my long range spitting. That's about five. And trust me, you don't want me to sign you up. All right. Now we have halftime refreshments, post-game refreshments, first aid, referee and practice coach, ball retrieval, dog and goose crap cleanup. Ooh. Nice kick, Montana. I should have let those kids sleep. Hey. I got to do this for the, you know, the doggone soccer team, you know, cutting oranges for all the little girls. You know, what did I get into, America? Let me tell you something. Before, my Saturdays were for me. Now, I ain't got nothing against supporting baby girl, but Bernie Mac didn't want to become some doggone refreshment bringing, crap cleaning, net hanging, soccer mom flunking. So it made no doggone sense. Baby girl, quit scuffing my floor with your cleats. What are those? Shin guards, they protect my shin. Really? Uh, ow, ow! Come on, quit fooling around, get in the car. I gotta take you to soccer. Come on now. What about my scalping? You went last night. That was just orientation. For six hours? Hey, you wanna hang on your cape and drawers today? Really? No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Baby girl, I'll be right back. No. Hey, Nessa, you find an activity yet? No, but I'm working on a couple of leads. Working on a couple of leads? Yeah, a couple of strong leads. Nessa? Why not? Hey, baby, Ooh. come here, I need you to do me a favor. Won't you take care of Jordan and the scouts for me, okay? Oh, you gave up your Saturday, Bernie. This is C my oh, Come Saturday. on, now. I ain't got no time for debate, baby girl. I got to take her to soccer. I warned you about overscheduling those kids. The clock is ticking. Come on, just do this for me. We're supposed to be a team. Should I put that in my suggestion box? Come on, baby, I ain't got no doggone time when I told you so. I'm on goose duty. Well, then maybe you should ask me a little bit better than that. Come on, please. All right, where well, I got to take them? You ain't got to take them nowhere. Last night, somebody signed me up for their mama. Thank you, baby. Their mama. Yeah. OK, the first thing we'll do is learn first aid. Why? In case anything happens. Shouldn't we first learn how to gut a man and then learn how to fix it? Yeah! yeah. No! No! no. <laughs> OK, come on. This will be fun. We'll start by talking about poison ivy. What about poisonous snake bites? Yeah! yeah. Snake bites. Snake bites. Snake bites. We'll get to snake bites later. How many snake bites does it take to kill a man? I'm not sure. It depends on the snake. I'm hey! <laughs> We're not talking about snake bites. <laughs> hey! Jenny, is this about snakes? No. OK. Can you use maggots to fix a snake bite? Yeah! Yeah! 
Marty! Hey. I'm glad you're here. The dad who was supposed to assist and coach didn't show up today. Dirty. Yeah, some parents actually just dropped their kids off. You believe that? Go, go, go out there. Have fun. I'll be back in an hour. Get the car. Get the car. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, no, no. Let him go, Bernie. We don't want their kind here. Yes, we do. All right. First thing I need for you to do is practice our kicks on goal. What? Oh, I'm doing all just... <laughs> you better come on with it. Best get your daddy. Ronnie, you might want to let the girls get one or two in. I'm not going to let them get a dope. They got to. Uh, if we're stuck in the wilderness and we have to eat each other, do we have to eat the butt? Oh, <laughs> no. Wouldn't it suck if we did eat the butt and then we were found like an hour later? Yeah, that would suck. Look here, Mr. Coach, man, I can't do it no more. You saw what happened, man. Another one no urgent hit me again, I'll clap all off. Not Let a problem, Bernie. Why don't you take a break from coaching, huh? Thank you, Coach, I appreciate that. You can help us out by refereeing the rest of the scrimmage. Refereeing? Yeah. But I don't know the rules. Just keep them from bunching. What's bunching? When they run after the ball at the same time in a bunch, uh -huh. it's called bunching. Bunching? What kind of bull? Look, America, I didn't sign up for this crap. Look at me. Look like I should be working at Foot Locker. Bunching. Good, come on, no bunching. No bunching, spread out. Get up. Get off her back! Wait, wait, wait. Just bunch. I don't want you to bunch. Spread out. Get off. Get off her back. Wait, wait. Listen, ladies, let, let me explain something to you. I truly don't believe you all understand the concept of bunching. See, right now you're in a bunch. Out there, you're not supposed to be in a bunch. I want you to stay where you're supposed to be until the ball comes to you. For example, you, you're my goalie. I want you to stay by the goal. You're my forward. I want you to stay forward. Twin, you're my halfback, so I want you to stay half back. I don't want you to move. I don't care if a butterfly flies past your head. Don't move. I don't care if Barbie drives up in her pink convertible. Do not move. Stay where you're supposed to be. Do you understand me? Bunch of dummies. Okay, all right. Run, you little ice cream, yeah. Yeah, I hope you choke on the stick. <sighs> all right, one more time. The rabbit comes out of the hole. Wait, where's Mark? <laughs> oh, my. Oh, you boys are so bad. You are so freaking hot. Why are you a little freaking hot? Bernie freaking hot. Oh, oh, baby, come on now. No, I did not give up my leisurely Saturday so I could hear some baby, little monster. This, this, this ain't the right time. Tell me I'm freaking hot. Baby, I'm America. America. Oh, oops. Sorry. We'll talk. She is freaking hot. I'm freaking tired. <sighs> Uncle Bernie, guess what? I just got a job walking neighborhood dogs. Isn't that great? Oh, don't worry. He won't bite. You know what, America? See, my Saturday is gone to the dogs, as you can see. America, I want to let you know something. They're stinky, they're messy, and they're nasty. And I'm talking about the little girls. That's right. I said it. So they say little girls should be made of sugar and spice and everything nice. Smokey said that. He's a damn lie. Because I'd rather be around these dogs. It's like they were there to torture me. But I, I can't do it again. 
Baby, I know, I know. I gotta try to trick baby girl into quitting, you know? Maybe I'll tell her she's allergic to grass. You know, she's cute, but she ain't that bright. That's wrong. <laughs> Uncle Bernie, can I quit soccer? Yes! It'll bubble you clean, the bubble you up. Yeah, baby girl, you don't have to play soccer if you don't like it. I like it, but I just think we stink. What? You don't stink. But all we do is bunch. Are you going to let her quit? No, I can't let her quit. And you can't either. Look here, girls. I don't want to see you in a bunch. I don't want to hear you in a bunch. I want you all to play like seven-year-olds. Now, I know what you're thinking. How come we can't bunch? Next time you find yourself in a bunch, Megan, what do you do? Not bunch. There you go. Next time you find yourself in a bunch, Judy? Go to the open space. Good girl, Judy, good girl. Twins, if you see the ball in front of the goal, what do you do? Not bunch. No, you kick the ball in the goal. Trick question. A little advanced. All right, what are we going to do? Yeah. How are we going to do it? What's me? What's what? Oh, girl, everybody, hold up here. Hold up. Good number six. Put your hand here. Let me hear you say, Bump and Grind. Bump and Grind. Let's go get him. Let's get him. Let's go. Let's go. He's into it. I hear he's just an uncle. Oh, figures. We ought to get him to coach basketball. Mm. Give me the bandana. Hey, God. Give me the bandana. You understand me? Give me the All right. I guess you guys don't want to learn to make fire. Fire, 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 fire. What we have here is kindling. And these two are my fire sticks. Shall I go on or would you guys like to keep playing? Anyone says another word? No fire. Anyone asks another silly question? No fire. And trust me, if you're ever trapped in the wilderness and you have to eat somebody's butt, then you're going to want to know how to start a fire. So listen up. If you guys are good once we make the fire, then we can cook up some hot dogs and some burgers on your homemade fire. Can we use that? I hope that's not a question. Shut up. Okay, let's see. 25, 50, um, and then 50. Ooh, that's 200. Come on, come on, come on, come on, Look at all this space. Hey, girl. Get. Right here. Look, look, look. Girl, girl. Come over here. Girl. Uh, won't you guys start preparing the burgers? It'll be any second now. Yeah. Saturday's all gone in a minute. 
Saturn. But Saturn nice too. Be careful what you get into. Laziness is underrated. If you're lucky enough to have kids who like to stay and hold the descendant, let them stay. Lazy kids make a very lazy Saturday. And there ain't nothing wrong with that, nothing. I'm a big man.